I have one client who bought a ranch with a bunch of cows on it and a really cute little house. And we ended up getting a $400,000 discount on the price. Our real estate housing market has changed so much over the last two years. And right now, when I work with home buyers, I feel like everybody wants a deal, as, as they should, because the last year and a half, we've very much been in a buyer's market. One of the most common questions that I've been getting over the last year, year and a half from home buyers is, when is the best time to buy a house? I'm personally not a fan of timing the market because nobody really knows what's gonna happen in a couple months, in a couple years. Inflation reports comes out being one thing, the Fed says something else, the market's doing its own thing. So it's really hard to time anything or predict anything, of course. But I do have some information that I share with my home buyer clients who have time and who can be very flexible. So that's what we're gonna talk about today is the best time to buy a home in Austin, Texas. Boom. Hey guys, I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor here in Austin, Texas. And I work with people from all over the world and all over the country who are wanting to buy a home in Austin or sell their home in Austin. If you're thinking about making a move, contact me. My contact information is in the description below and you can even set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call directly with me. Before I begin, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be notified every time I do a video like this one. So with that, we will commence our video. If you've never been to Austin before, or even if you have been to Austin before, even if you live here, the hottest time of the year is mid-July through the end of August. Sometimes it even rolls into September. It gets so unbearably hot, it's really really hard to function. I feel like even like the best cars sometimes can't keep up with the demands that we put on the AC system. It just gets really overbearingly hot. And the reason I mention that is because the first best time to buy a home in Austin, and I would assume probably Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, in Texas in general, is late summer. I feel like July to late August, the market just kind of simmers and not a lot is happening at that point. Part of it is because it's still summer break and a lot of families are out traveling with their kids. There's also other people who don't have kids necessarily that are traveling during that time. And the fact that it is just so freaking hot, nobody wants to be outside. I feel like it's really difficult to show homes when it gets that hot. We like park the cars close to the house as we can and like we run in and then get it and try to get into the AC. It's just, it's exhausting. It's tiring. It's really uncomfortable. And I think for a lot of people, just looking at houses in that heat is not enjoyable. We do it. I do work during the summertime, but it's a different experience than maybe the springtime or the winter months. So if looking at homes in that heat is difficult, just imagine moving in that heat. Oh, I've done it. And it's really torturous. It's absolutely awful, especially when you're loading and unloading a U-Haul full of boxes. It's gross. It's not the end of the world. A lot of people do it, but it's really difficult. So all of that to say that because nobody wants to move during that time of year so many people are out of town and it's just more challenging to look at houses when it gets that hot the first best time of year to buy in austin is september to late august i feel like homes just kind of tend to sit on the market for a little bit longer during that time period and historically i've been able to get better deals for my clients kind of depending on the situation but right away if a home has been on the market for a while that gives us the buying party a little bit more negotiation power of course we don't know who the sellers are and each situation is a little bit different but generally this is a time of year where we can get better deals the next best time to buy a home in Austin is early November to the first week of January. I tell this to clients all the time. If they have time and they can be flexible, this is an awesome time to buy homes, but mostly being because it's it's the holidays. Literally nobody wants to move during the holidays. Generally people have this idea that by Thanksgiving or the holiday season, New Year's, they're gonna be settled in their home, cozy, comfy around a Christmas tree with their family celebrating, but that doesn't happen if you just moved into your house three days ago. Also, we know that if a seller is selling their house around the holiday season, probably because they really need to get it sold and they're going to be a lot more motivated than somebody who lists their home in the springtime, which is the 
the best time to sell a home, not the best time to buy a home. So just so you know that. I had a bunch of clients that listened to my advice at the end of 2023 and waited for November, December, and early January to buy their home. I have one client who bought a ranch with a bunch of cows on it and a really cute little house. And we ended up getting a $400,000 discount on the price because it had been on the market for so long and the sellers needed to sell. I saw the opportunity my clients were willing to try and we got a killer deal on 55 acres of land, you guys. That's so crazy. I also had some other buyer clients that bought a beautiful home in the hill country with an infinity pool. We got it significantly lower than the asking price, but we also got all closing costs covered. So if you're not in a hurry and you have some time, I always recommend people wait until the last couple months of the year to buy a home. So again, that's early November to the first week of January. Also in that January timeframe, if there happens to be a winter storm, that's also a great time to be buying a home because nobody is out looking at homes and there's zero competition. So if you don't mind the cold, if you know how to drive on snow or if you know how to drive on ice very carefully, it's actually a really good time to go out look at homes too. I've also been able to help clients get pretty good deals in the middle of winter storms in Texas. Kind of on the side on that November time frame, 2024 is an election year, so I'm gonna be really interested to see what happens this year. Typically what I've seen is that during an election year, people hold off on buying a home just to see what's gonna happen with the government, the situation, etc. But on top of it being an election year, the Fed also has said that they're going to lower interest rates multiple times. I think they said three times this year. It's not a promise. I, I don't actually know if they're going to do that or not, but I think if they do, with it being an election year, there's just going to be a lot more incentives coming from the government to stimulate the economy. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. So it could be that November 2024 is an excellent time to buy a home, but I will keep you posted and keep watching. And to keep watching, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you get notified every time that I do a video like this one. Those are my tips, you guys, on the best times to buy a home in Austin, Texas. If you have uh, other ideas or other questions for a video, please leave a comment. I really love interacting with you through the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Daphne Quay, your Ball City Realtor. Till next time.